What up? It's your boy Jing Yes Collects back at it with another collection video. And this time I'm doing something new. This is going to be the first time I did a video on NFT. So I'm doing a video obviously on NFTs. It was an NFT drop today on Tuesday, uh, the 28th, uh, for uh, Funko Shop NFTs for My Little Pony. Um, I do collect NFTs. I just want to start by saying I do collect NFTs from Funko Pop. I've just never done a video because I haven't gotten the format down yet to where I'm going to do it. And I still don't kind of have it now, but I'm going to still share it with you guys to let you know that I do collect these and, uh, and, and, and I want to do a pack opening with you guys. Um, so basically, if you're unfamiliar with, with what Funko NFTs are, I'll kind of explain it a little bit. I know it's, it's kind of difficult to explain it. It's kind of uh, it's kind of a lot if you don't know what to do. But once you know what to do, then it becomes easier. Well, let's start by saying first off, every I say once a month, once every month and a half or so, that time left Funko announces that they have an NFT set. So they, they release NFT sets of different kinds. They've done DC uh, comics. They've done uh, Nickelone Nickelodeon. They've done, they've done uh, Transformers. They've done, you know, a lot of different type of NFTs where they look like regular just playing cards. But if you get a specific level of this card, so there's a legendary and a grail. If you get a legendary or a grail, um, in these packs, you re you can redeem the actual physical pop. Um, there's I want to say five of the different tiers. There's a common, an uncommon, a rare, and an epic. And then there's a legendary. And then the grail being the top out of all of them. The legendaries are limited to the amount that that they have out there. The legendaries usually around one a uh, thousand five hundred pieces to a thousand I think seven hundred was the most that I've seen. The Grails are always limited to only a thousand. Um, the that's the cool and the bad thing about getting these NFTs, and that's the reason a lot of people are getting into these NFTs because you get a chance to redeem physical pops. But it's very tough. The physical pop percentage for this one, I think, was uh, 1.75 percent. Let me actually look at my look it up now, and then I'll let you guys know. So, so the legendary, to get a legendary, the percentage of getting a legendary card is 1.75%, so less than 2% of getting a legendary. Now, a legendary is a card that you can redeem for a physical pop. Uh, the grails, the percentage to get that is 0.28%, so about a quarter of a percent chance to hit on a grail. So both of these are very, very, very tough to get. And a lot of times you don't get a legendary or a grail, so you just get a pack that kind of is just an NFT. You just look at it and you own it. Um, it's not really a lot there. Um, and again, I'm not really a big fan of My Pony. I actually don't know a lot about My Pony, but I am a fan of going for a chance to get a Funko that is limited. Because these days, the only place to really get a limited uh, Funko is really now through NFTs. Um, everything else is kind of mass produced, and you know they make a, a, a lot of quantities of a lot of pops now. But without rambling on, that's kind of the gist of it. It's not a whole lot. Um, there's a lot of videos out there that explain how to get into it, how to do it, this and that. So if you want to learn how to get into an NFT um, and get a chance of getting one of these physical pops, there's a bunch of videos. Just type in YouTube, you'll find it for sure. But without further ado, just to let you guys know, I did pre-record it. So I did open them up because I get too excited. I opened up uh, the packs and uh and i just recorded it so i'm gonna kind of go through what i got with you guys and i'll just have a screen up and y'all can kind of watch it so first off these nfts are so popular it's very tough to get them for retail you cannot get them from the website like they set the i went in three devices and i had an hour long longer than an hour wait for all three devices whenever it says longer than an hour you pretty much wrap it's a wrap you ain't you aren't getting it and on all three devices 
it was longer than an hour wait and this supposed to be random how you select who gets in front of the line who gets in the back of the line uh, for some reason I'm always at the back of the line because it's always longer than an hour wait so you have to go on a resale market which is called um, Atomic Hub so Atomic Hub is where you can buy the packs for resale basically uh, I don't think that My Little Pony was that popular so the resale is only five dollars more than retail so retail if you want to get 15 cards which is considered a premium pack a standard pack is five cards uh, the premium pack is 30 bucks retail the standard pack is 10 bucks which is five cards retail the premium pack on resale was only 33 to 35 dollars so not a lot at all I don't understand why people buy it and got this just to sell it for three more dollars than what it is it's, it's weird uh, but I end up getting two premiums and one standard let's go ahead let's start with I say let's start with the standard one uh, to see what we got out of the standard one then we'll go to the two premium ones alright so let's go we're about to open up the pack now open pack number 3261 opening now shaking cars flying <laughs> only five of them so first one was a common the second one was another common the third one was the same common the fourth one common and a fifth one common all this entire pack was filled with nothing but comments and that's what you typically get so if you guys aren't familiar with nfts or or ever went for NFT, just know that getting something that's going to be of value or limit, limited or good, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy at all. So that was a great example of what typically happens. Uh, but let's go right into it. Let's jump into um, into the uh, the premium pack, which would be 15 cars this time. So we went okay 1663. To me sixes that open sliding open cards flying let's go ahead and see what we got in this pack let's go first one the uncommon which is not bad i'll take the uncommon another uncommon temper shadow um common temper shadow then another common twilight sparkle common uh what was that discord rainbow trixie common jesus a rare i'll take the rare token head uncommon common common we got the legendary that is a redeemable right there so we got a redeemable legendary my little pony now back to the uncommons common and the last one is a uncommon good pack really good pack i think i got a couple rares and a legendary let's actually scroll through and see what i got so uncommon uncommon common 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 uncommon common epic one epic out of this pack uncommon common 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 legendary and then uncommon at the very bottom there um oh, nope then common common uncommon okay so i had a few more under there uh but not bad let's go on to a second pack see if we can get the grail i need a grail pack grail pack yes indeed um so let's go open 17 uh 17,134. open up now sliding first card is a common discord i've got like three of him i feel like man, at least two of him another common this ain't looking too good uncommon Rare, common, rare, not bad, a bunch of rare, uncommon, rare, common, rare, okay, it's like, I'm doing a little pattern, epic, see, these aren't bad, common, common, rare, one more, last magic, come on, common, dang. Not a bad pack right there either. Um, it, it was a bunch of rares and comments, so I'll take that definitely all day, but I definitely wanted to hit the grail. So I may end up turning in some of these cards and going for another pack just to see if I can get a grail. Um, but 
so far so good not bad at all i'm not like i said a big fan i don't know a ton about my little pony but it's cool that i had to buy aftermarket which which wasn't very expensive and i actually hit on something that's not bad at all i looked up and seen the cost of the uh legendary that i got um it was around like 60 to 65 bucks or so for for that specific comment so i kind of got my money back i spent the 70 bucks uh so with everything so with that with all the cards i bought i definitely made my money back but the legendary really just put me over the top to where i, I made my money money back from what i spent uh so yeah that's it that's my first video it's kind of choppy i'm gonna get a little better with presenting the nft because i gotta get on the computer and kind of do it that way um but i got a legendary did y'all go for this pack without able to buy packs from funko themselves let me know it's your boy genius Thank you.